Welcome to Pagan Crafting. Today we're going to be looking at acorn fairies from Forest Findings. These little nature crafts, little little cuties, you can make from seedlings or nuts and twigs and branches and leaves and all kinds of little goodies. Stay with me and let's make some acorn fairies. Welcome to Pagan Crafting. Today, after a long day of foraging and forest bathing, I've decided to make some pine nettle tea. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put that to the side to steep for a while and let's look at the things that we need for today's craft. A liner pen, pencil, paintbrush, some paints, two different types of acorns, one for the body, one for the head, some little seed pods, some little leaves, the smallest leaves that you could find. You want just little guys. You also like to find some small little branches, some little sticks, nice and tiny. Glue stick and glue gun we'll use for today. This tea is so amazing. It is so good for you. I could drink this tea from the fall to spring, especially all winter long. It is so tasty and so, so good. Now I'm gonna start off with a little moon water. I love using moon water for my watercolor paints. I believe it gives a little extra charge, a little extra magical. Maybe these little fairies could come to life and the magic of the moon water is what helped boost their little life, life souls. Oh my goodness. So you want to gather some little seed pods here. And each fairy is going to need four wings. So two sets of wings, two sets of pods each. I try to pick the seeds that are uh, closest to each other so that way it'll be more uh, unison when it is on the little fairy. Now watercolor, you don't have to get anything expensive. Dollar store watercolor paint set is all you're gonna need. Just a nice super light coat. I want it a very iridescent, very see-through. So I wiped off some of the excess paint as you saw there. These ones I'm doing aquamarine blue. And again, just nice and light and they'll dry very, very quick. I'm just putting them on some paper towel here. Now I'm gonna do some royal purple. Again, nice and light on the wings. I do both the front and the back. Because it's nice, Penny, if you're going to hang them as they're twirling around, it'll be nice to see the color on both sides. Now I'm disappointed. I just moved and I could not find all my paints. So what I'm missing is a little iridescent or sparkles. You could also do a little bit of Mod Podge and then sprinkle some sparkles on their wings as well. Oh, that would have been a good idea. And I think I'm going to go for hmm, apple green for the last set of wings. 
aquamarine, apple green, and purple. I think that'll look cool. Again, just nice and light and both sides. We're gonna let those just dry now. And while those are drying, we're gonna work on the little bodies of the fairies. Now the nets that I have on the right hand side are from London, Ontario, Canada. And the ones on the left side are from Alberta, Canada. Uh, probably around the Edmonton area is where they were collected. But the smaller ones are, I collected in 1996. I'm not kidding you, I've had these for so long. I've done spells and cast stuff with it and now I'm gonna do crafts with them. What the heck, I've done, I've done so many spells with these seeds as well as will give them a little, little difference home there. Now we're gonna use uh, the bigger parts for the body. And I'm gonna angle the head when I put it on because I, when I put the caps on there, I have the little pointy end of the, um, the little, the little I keep wanting to call them seeds, the little pointy end of the nut. That as I'm gonna use for their chin is when I draw on their little faces. And just gonna glue on each one of them. And repeat, rinse and repeat. Again, I'm gonna find the best spot, a little angle there, a little bods. Now I'm gonna grab some little leaves. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little skirt for them out of a leaf. So I thought little overlapping little skirts would be super cute. I think I'll use the two smaller ones for the girls. Now don't use hot glue for this one. It's best to use craft glue. And the reason why is that even though they're drying out is that the leaves will still get burnt and then they'll leave little dark marks around but versus if you glue them with a craft glue or a white glue onto her little body then it won't burn the leaves and it'll look still they'll dry nice and they'll dry with the still and they'll stay the the yellow color for you and as you saw i cut off all the little stems so they won't be poking up so we have a nice clean little skirt here oh she's gonna be so cute and just working my way all the way around Now some of these little leaves were sticking out so I'm just going to glue down just a little side bits using a pencil because uh, I couldn't find tweezers at the moment. So I'll just help gluing down just a little bit of the edges of the leaves. Just a little dab, just a tiny little bit. Enough that they're not going to stick out or fall over just to kind of finish those off there. Oh, she's going to be so sweet. I'm excited. Okay, let's do the other one here now. We're going to use a teeny, teeny, teeny little one here. We're going to make her into a little girl too. Put a little skirt on there. Now that the, the wings are all nice and dry, we're going to be gluing them hot glue onto their back. Now deciding where to put them, this is the first one that I made, my little prototype here. His wings are at rest. He's so cute. He's one of my favorite little guys. So we'll use him as an example. Uh, so just a little bit of glue on the back and we're going to just glue two at a time. And his wings are going to be at rest as well. So we'll have them pointed downwards. 
Now I turn them around to the front and you could see how you'd like them positioned because they may look great on the back, but when you turn them around, you may need to open up the wings a little bit more so you can see them from the front view. And again, we're gonna do just two more, just two at a time. You see me touching the glue a lot, this hot glue. Usually the hot glue is so hot that would burn your finger. But this is a glue gun I got from the dollar store, so it's not that hot. <laughs> it's not that good of a one. So it's actually perfect for crafts because actually it, glue, um, it dries quick enough and uh, it doesn't burn me and I can touch the glue and still manipulate it. And it's nice and then it, uh, the wings, ta-da, the wings are good to go. So a little rinse and repeat, little boop. I have a little boop on his nose there. Oh, they're so cute. Now I'm going to have her wings coming upwards, so I'm going to have her flying in a little ballerina pose. So I want a little action on her wings. same for our other little girl she's gonna get the aquamarine wings oh they're starting to look so cute these wings look real when you're painting them eee, they're so cute Alrighty, they're ready now for some limbs let's make some little arms and some little legs I use the smallest branches I could find I kind of look for some branches that are around the same color. I harvest them from the same little bush, but some of them are lighter, some of them are darker. So I want them to be about the same and gluing them on. Working on the little legs here. Now, if you just put them on, they're going to kind of, as it's drawing, the legs are going to fall down. So find something that you could rest the legs on so then they'll stick up or else they'll just kind of fall blah, back down to the bottom. Now we're going to repeat here and I'm going to make some little arms. Again, he's going to be hands on hip, kind of a little defiant, maybe just chilling there. I'm working on the little legs here for our purple fairy. She's going to kind of have a little ballerina pose. I'm kind of working back and forth between the two fairies, so let's like, glue dry. And these are his little arms here, hands on hips, a little bit on the shoulder here. And repeat for the other side. Oh, they're so cute. I can't stop saying cute enough, sorry. I love fairies. I love acorn fairies. I love all things tiny. Oh. I gotta clip off the little bottom because there's little shoots sticking out there. Be generous with the glue here because we're gonna put in the legs. We want that to hold still. And I'm gonna put a little crystal there to hold up the legs while it dries. And I'm gonna work on her arms now. Cutting about four pieces, two pieces for each arm. I feel like having, she's gonna have her arms up. She's a little flying, flowing, Ooh, dancing in the air. Oh, they're looking so good. And a little bit of uh, glue for the little joint. Those will dry super quick and that'll be for our next little fairy here with her little aquamarine wings. 
if you have different colors of leaves too the little baby leaves that will look cool for little different colors of dresses and there you have it now i'm using uh, a liner pigment liner it's of a 0 0.3 nice and fine 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 line just drawing on the faces, nothing fancy, just something super easy. I'm going to be hanging them amongst my plants and my flowers, so I don't think I'm going to see the faces as clear as from where I'm hanging it. So, But I'm still rocking in the lashes for the little girls. Little mouth here, cute little chin. Oh. Oh, this little guy is one of my favorites. Oh, I gotta figure out something really cool for his little chin. This little guy, I think, wound up being my favorite fairy out of all of them. Look at his little chin! Oh my god, he's adorable. He's my favorite. He's my absolute favorite. And this guy making him a little sleepy. Yeah, he's having a little yawn. And this little sweet thing, we're gonna give her some sweet little lashes too. And there she be, some cute little lips on her. And there's our little fairies. I want to say thank you so very much for hanging out with me today. It's been a pleasure making these little acorn fairies with you. Throw me down in the comments below if you've made some different fairies and from what forest findings have you made your fairies from. Thank you again for chilling out with me and have yourself a blessed day.